Welcome to the Statistic in ED YouTube channel. Today I want to talk about how to import and export tabular Excel data in R. By tabular data I mean data that is in a nice data frame format so that we can conveniently use it in R. I might do a video later on about how to import pivoted Excel data when it's not so straightforward, how to, to use it in R and what it should look like in R. We're talking about package recommendations and we're doing benchmarks to see which package is the fastest for importing and exporting. These are the packages we're going to use. Two of them are Java-based. At the top left, Excel Connect and XLSX. Then there's the Open XLSX package, which gives us a lot of flexibility also in manipulating Excel files from R, like applying formatting. Then write Excel is just dedicated to export and it's blazing fast. Rio is sort of a Swiss army knife for data import and export in various file formats. It's very convenient because you just have to remember the import and export functions regardless of file types. Read Excel is part of the tidyverse and the gdata package I'm not going to show today. I just have it here to tell a little anecdote. It was my first search hit when I started using R a couple of years ago and imported Excel data for the first time. I'm sure it's a great package. It's got a lot of other convenient functions, for example, for converting medical units, but for importing Excel data, it's very inefficient. It worked well on a small data set, but um, runtimes are very high for larger data. The data is um, transformed to um, CSV format and then by via a Perl script and then import it as CSV. So that's really not efficient at all. And when I tried it now, it gave me some Perl errors. It needs Perl installed, so that dependency is also a downside. Great package, but don't use it to import Excel data. Okay, this is the data we're going to use today. It's simulated, so it's very simple. Um, I have three random variables uh, numeric and also three character variables that just contain letters of the alphabet. And we have three variants of the data, 1,000 rows, 10,000 rows, and 100,000 rows. And we'll start with data import because that's the more common case and then we'll move on to data export. So I'm benchmarking various packages. I have ex excluded the XLSX package here because it gave me Java errors, but we'll use it for data export later on. Um, so this is my code for the benchmarks. For Excel Connect, I need two lines of code to load and create a workbook and, um, no, not to create, but to load the workbook and then read the worksheet. And the other packages have one line of functions. Um, so the import is more straightforward. So this is what the benchmarks look like. For the small data set with only 1000 rows, I'm plotting the timings from the bench package. For benchmarks, I recommend to use dedicated packages and not rely on system time because that's not very accurate. And we see that Rio and read Excel clearly win. Note that the x-axis showing time is on a log scale. I think that read Excel appears a bit slower than Rio is probably an artifact of my specific measurement and the small data set maybe because Rio uses Red Excel in the background, so Red Excel should really be the fastest and we'll see that more clearly um, that they are on level terms and Rio can't be faster. We'll see that more clearly with the larger data sets. Excel Connect that has a Java dependency is the slowest and open XLSX is sort of in the middle between the other packages. Right, so read Excel is the fastest and you might value Rio for its convenience import function. Moving on to larger data sets, 10,000 rows on the left and 100,000 rows on the right, we get the same image. Rio and read Excel are on the same level and the fastest. On the left, for the 10,000 rows, I was still able to use Excel Connect. On the right hand side for 100,000 rows I excluded Excel Connect because it gave, me, it gave me more Java errors and we'll see more of that when we talk about data export. But for now we can already keep in mind that a Java dependency for these packages dealing with Excel data is not very good to have. So read Excel is the fastest and real very convenient to import 
Excel data in R. So we move on to data export or writing Excel data to disk, data in Excel format. Um, don't be scared of by these functions. I just wanted to show for these Java-based functions, Excel Connect at the top and XLSX at the bottom, how we can export the data step by step, how these packages work. So we can first create a workbook here, load workbook and create equals true. And then we add a sheet to the workbook and then we write data on that sheet. And up to that point, we have only manipulated an object in R's memory. Nothing happens on this until we call save workbook um, to actually write the Excel workbook on disk. Also note that to show functions from these two packages, I didn't use library to load the packages, but I used this package double colon notation. That is because these two packages have overlapping function names. Look at create sheet here in both packages. So if I loaded both packages, then um, the create sheet function would be masked and the lastly loaded package would win. So to avoid this ambiguity and um, not run into these name conflicts, I use this package double colon function notation to make explicit which package I want to use. Um, okay, let's go on to the benchmarks for writing data from R to Excel format. On the left, you see the function I used for the benchmarks. Um, and these two packages that I just talked about, Excel Connect and Excel SS, they also have direct functions that allow me to write the data with just one function call, write worksheet to file for Excel Connect, and write dot .xlsx for the xlsx package. And you see in the chart on the right that for Excel Connect, it doesn't really make a difference if I use the um, dedicated function or if I uh, use more steps separately to write the file to disk. But for the xlsx package, interestingly, uh, my manual approach with the three steps was clearly faster than the dedicated function. So that's an interesting side note, but all in all, we can say that the Java-based approaches are slower. Rio and Open XLSX are clearly faster. Um, they're almost at almost identical in runtimes, and that is because Rio uses Open XLSX in the background. So Rio doesn't um, provide new functions for data input and export, but uses um, certain packages in the background. Um, so in this case, for writing to disk, it's open XLSX. But the fastest that I found is the write Excel package. That's why the code on the left is highlighted. That is the fastest function that I came across to write Excel data from R to disk. Right, let's look at data export for larger files. Um, then it shows more clearly why a Java dependency is not very nice to have. Um, you can quickly run into Java errors. In this case, it's an out of memory error. GC overhead limit exceeded a typical Java error that you may get using these packages. Um, and it's not related to the memory of your R session or your system, but Java has um, different and more narrow memory limits. So for the following benchmarks for the larger data sets, writing to disk, I will exclude the Excel Connect and XLSX package and instead focus on write Excel, open XLSX and Rio. So these are the benchmarks. We get the same picture for 10,000 rows and 100,000 rows. Write Excel is clearly the fastest for data export and Rio and open XLSX are on the same level. Um, note that for the 100,000 rows example, Runtimes for Rio and Open XLSX approach four seconds, whereas write XL is below one second, so it's really huge differences between the packages. The advantage of Open XLSX is that it gives you more flexibility in formatting the data. I didn't show that in this video. Um, you can apply formatting to Excel cells and make it pleasing for colleagues who need to work with the Excel data. And write XL is less flexible but fast. Right, that was it basically for today. So to sum up, um, I recommend for both data import and export to avoid Java dependency for data import. Read Excel was the fastest and you may like Rio for its convenience. You just need to remember the import function. And for data export, you just need to remember the export function in Rio. 
but for data export, write Excel was clearly faster than real, and open XLSX, as I said, is very flexible when you want to apply formatting to Excel sheets. That was it for today. I hope you find that useful. All the best for your own data import and export in your data analysis. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. All the best. Check out my other videos. See you next time. Ciao.